and the structure of sense organs, how they work and how they are helpful to the organisms. Sense organs are very important because the importance of the sense organs lies in two different areas. Every organism needs sense organs to get its primary needs because without acquiring the primary needs, without satisfying the primary needs, no organism can live. What are the primary needs of an organism? Food, water and shelter or protection from the environment. So every organism needs food, water and shelter from the environmental uh, factors like rain or sun or whatever. So, so how organisms get the primary needs? Organisms may be having different organs to get the food, but so to identify the food, to recognize the food, to reach the food, to acquire the food, organisms need sense organs. In the same way, the organisms need sense organs to protect themselves from the other organisms. See, if a housefly is flying, if you try to catch, so you cannot catch the housefly, it escapes. That means it has good sense organs to escape from your hand. So you will be having a good brain, good abilities, good skills to catch that, but it is very difficult because it has got more senses to escape from your attack. In the same way, all the organisms, they have senses. You take the microorganisms or you take the uh, plants, even they also have senses. But they do not have the sense organs as the animals are having. Animals, they have well developed senses and sense organs when compared to plants and microorganisms. But that is seen in even smaller forms also that sensing is seen even in smaller forms, even in plants also. Plants also sensitive. Certain plants are sensitive to touch. We know that mimosa plant, touch me not plant. If you touch the plant, what happens? It droops, it closes, it closes its leaves. So that is the response shown by the plant. So plants also have some senses. But here in this chapter, we are going to talk about the human sense organs, their construction, their importance. So human sense organs, we are talking about the humans, we have sense organs. I already told you that the sense organs are needed for two major things. One is for the primary needs and the next one is for the secondary needs. See what are our primary needs? What are our secondary intuition needs? Primary needs is food, water, clothing, shelter. These are the primary needs when you generally say that. So we need to get the food so we can sense the food with the help of the sense organ where the food it is. So we can get uh, our basic needs. And even for the secondary and tertiary needs, so you got food, your stomach is full. So you got the basic things, then you look for the secondary things, you want some entertainment. So you want some nice music. So how can you enjoy the nice music? It is because of your sense organs, right? So you wanted to have a nice smell in your room, you spray some perfume or room freshener in, the, in your room. So you enjoy the nice, nice smell or you have gone to some garden where you have a flowers like jasmine and something. So then you will enjoy the nice and sometimes when you are uh, uh, working in your drawing room, you are doing your homeworks, you enjoy the nice spicy smell coming from the kitchen. So you understand that something, some special dish like biryani is being prepared in your kitchen. So you sense that. So sense organs, they tell us about the different things that are taking place in the environment that is the sight so not only uh, even the taste when you eat some food you will be able to appreciate the food yes this is very tasty so this is spicy this is salty this is sour and you can appreciate different flavors also you can appreciate so just if i say some ice cream if i say an ice cream so immediately in your mind different flavors will come this ice cream can be vanilla flavor, this ice cream can be butterscotch, it can be a chocolate flavor. So there are different flavors, strawberry flavor, 
so the different flavors also you will be able to appreciate that is because of the sense organs so sense organs if you wanted to see something some picture some wonderful picture a scenery a beautiful picture your eyes they take the sense information to your brain and you appreciate that beauty so with different sense organs we are appreciating the nature that is secondary the primary thing protecting ourselves from the environmental uh, factors or from the environment or from other organisms the primary thing is one more primary thing is acquiring food for all this purpose we need sense organs so sense organs are helpful for just for survival primary primary needs we call it as survival of an organism survival means just to being lived just to live survival so primary needs to get food we need sense organs without sense organs it is not possible to search for the food and uh, for protection protection so protection just if you keep your hand in a hot water if the water is boiling temperature immediately you will withdraw your hand if you are not immediately withdrawing your hand the hand will burn severely so because of the immediate withdrawal the burn will be a little and it reduces the deterioration of condition even you see some fly or some dust particle it is falling towards your eye immediately your eyelids close your eyes and prevent the entry of insect into your eye so this happens automatically very fast so this is also a kind of a reflex immediate action shown by the body so here also here the sense organs help for the protection so if we uh, some if we find some mosquito is biting on our hand so we know that just we have seen some mosquito has come it's biting immediately our hand pats it and kills the mosquito so here we are protecting ourselves from other animals or other environmental factors with the help of the sense organs so sense organs they are useful for protection and survival of an organism that is the primary and secondary needs we need sense organs to know about the world to get the knowledge we wanted to see different videos and understand we wanted to see different animations we wanted to see different lessons listen to the lessons taught by the teacher so listening watching smelling so these are all appreciations so the secondary in case of secondary what are the different purposes for knowledge and for appreciation appraisal appreciation to enjoy the beauty of nature to enjoy the music so to enjoy that cool climate cool breeze or okay bright sunlight in case of a winter season we wanted to be in sun we want the warmth of the sun there we enjoy the warmth of the sun in case of a summer season we wanted to enjoy with a cool breeze so this is all possible because of these sense organs okay now let us see what do these senses do let us see how the sense organs are working what is the need of a sense i already told you the senses they help us to protect from danger they also help us to identify and get the food so they also help us to appreciate the nature so this is all happens between the coordination of two systems sensory system and nervous system the nervous system it chiefly consists of brain and spinal cord brain and spinal cord these are the two major parts of our nervous system so these brain and spinal cord are connected to sense organs through nerves anyway we see that uh, nerves and how the nervous system is organized in the coming chapters in your coming classes so here just understand this nervous system is coordinating with this sensory system so in the sensory system we have five sense organs these are the five uh, immediate or major sense organs which may be classified later but these are the five sense organs that we have to get the senses eyes ears skin nose and tongue so 
in case of an immediate change any change in the environment that is happening to our body or that is going to happen to our body that immediate change will be noticed that means the external change will be taken by the sense organ and it is converted into some nerve signal some electrical impulse and sent to the nervous system from the nervous system some action will be taken some orders will be passed to prevent the danger or protect from the danger say i'll give you one example so you have seen some mosquito falling on your hand with the ice ice have watched that some mosquito has come to your hand immediately that information is passed that a mosquito picture and the mosquito is going to bite that information is passed to your nervous system from the nervous system some instruction is passed to your other hand to hit the mosquito 